Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for our next fight. Making his way to the cage and fighting out of the red corner, it's Justin DeAndrea. Dustin DeAndrea, 6'1", 171 pounds. He's 26 years of age, fighting out of the Beta Academy, down from Washington, D.C. And if you're listening at home or watching at home, and you don't know exactly where we are in Ashburn, Virginia, say you're tuning in from wherever in the world, we are just outside of Washington, D.C. Ashburn, Virginia, Manassas, Fairfax, Arlington, Alexandria, all in this northern Virginia area, all surrounding Washington, D.C. So coming down from D.C. out of the Beta Academy is about a 30-minute drive for these guys. So we get a lot of fighters coming out of Washington. Justin DeAndrea with an 0-1 record. So we look to impress us just a little bit more than we've seen in the past. Now, his, he's, he's top out, he doesn't have a tapology ranking, all right? But he's fought in other, other cards. And he's, his opponent's at five and three. So, this is the second time we've seen him here at Cagezilla with a one and one. It says 0 and one, but he's one and one. I'm correction. Second time we've seen him, he's fought once before. And his opponent, making his way to the cage and fighting out of the blue corner, it's Connor Mosby. Connor Mosby, 6'2", 170 out of Capital MMA and Elite Fitness in Alexandria, Virginia. Again, another Capital fighter. This is his debut, debut tonight here in Cagezilla. As his team makes his way up, he'll get checked out. One of four fighters tonight on tonight's card from Capital MMA. Capital MMA has a huge presence here tonight. Justin DeAndrea just taking a look over there, kind of eyeing him up. This fight is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And the first time for Connor Mosby. So Justin has seen a little bit of the cage. His team takes care of him there. Get all checked out here. Fight number three coming up as they make their way to the cage. Let's throw it back up to Chris. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the Cagezilla welterweight division. Starting out first, fighting out of the red corner, standing six foot one and weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Beta Academy, it's Justin DeAndrea! Justin, 6'1", 171 out of Beta. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, Standing six foot two and weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Capital MMA, he is making his Cagezilla debut. It's Connor Mosby. Connor Mosby, 6'2", 170 out of Capital. First time he's been Once in the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the Cagezilla welterweight division. Your referee is Michael Dolman. Michael Doman will call both fighters right to the logo in the middle of the cage. Go over some rules with him. Michael Doman, one of the best referees around. They touch gloves, make their way back to the corner. DeAndrea will be fighting in the gray shorts, black gloves, red tape. Mosby fighting in the black shorts, black gloves, and blue tape. They touch gloves right in the middle, and they go right to work. So, Kevin, I don't know if you saw it or not, but while I was doing my intros, oh, they were getting him. chippy. I saw them. And it started right before that, right as, right as Justin made his way into the cage, he was looking back. He could care less about what was going on in the cage. He was looking for Mosby. Yeah. Mosby with a couple, oh, he oh, knocked him down. Huge. Couple of huge rights. Wow. Mosby throws a couple of huge rights, drops Justin to his knees. 
So good ground work here by Justin, though. Able to get back up to his feet. Didn't, didn't take too much damage. Good outside knee. Those knees hurt to the thigh. You can see Mosby didn't want a second one. So you see Justin there working that underhook, double underhook now. Right here in front of the broadcast table, Kevin. Both guys right here almost in front of us. And then they go away. Mosby needs to spin them and get those, get loose and get back to, there we and go. That's exactly what he did. Oh, big shot there from the top. Good, good sprawl. I tell you, for being the first time in the cage from Mosby, he looks really good. Yes, he does. Fighting out of capital, so you know they, they, uh, they had him ready. Oh, huge slam. Hey. Mosby does not look like a first-time fighter. Oh. Oh, huge shots from he the top. He is just laying it on, Justin. So you see Justin trying to throw up a leg there, trying to mitigate the damage. Mosby out of Capital MMA has had some training. They do not send anybody to Zilla that is not ready. Justin's got to spin around and try to figure out. He's going to try to. Yeah, he's in rubber guard right now. Trying yeah. to, like I said, trying to stop the bleeding, so to speak. Has he got this arm bar? Is Justin trying to get an arm bar in there? Yeah. No, couldn't he, tell. He was. Mosby just took a look at the clock just to see how much time he had left. Really smart. Still looking at the clock. Trying to figure out how much time he's got. A lot of times, fighters aren't that smart. They don't know the clock is even going up there. Right. Or they're just so wrapped up in the fight. You know, you take yeah. you take your eyes off, take very, your eyes off the fighter, and before you know it, you're laying on your back. Yeah. Very calm. Understands what's going on. He doesn't have it. He won't have enough time. He almost had him. Another 10 seconds, and he had that. Kevin. Hey. I just gave you a look like, wow. Uh, That's hey. a debut fight. Hey, dude. Mosby is real. That is a debut fight. Mosby is real. If you're Mosby's corner right now, he just doesn't want to get caught. Justin's going to have to come in here and try to win two more because right now Mosby is in control of this. And look how hard De uh, Deandra is is – is breathing over oh, the yeah, corner. For sure. Justin is breathing hard. Telling you what, if we had a camera over here on on us, the guys at home watching on GoSports.com <laughs> would see a look of horror on my face about three times in that round. Mosby thought, was going off, Kevin. I thought I thought Justin was done. All right. So Justin Day and Drea fighting out of Beta Academy. Great school, so you know he's getting some good coaching over there in the corner. Let's see what he comes out with. Mike Dolman calling both fighters out to the center of the ring. Here we go. Round number two. Both fighters right on top of the logo. Oh! oh slipped. It's a little slippery out there. I always wait to see one of those on not top ten. <laughs> right? Oh, good Good take move down. by Mosby. Very nice. Very smart control of that ankle, Kevin. Yeah. Right back to where we were at the end of round number one. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to try to stop saying it, but this is high-level grappling, high-level striking yeah. from a debut fighter, Kevin. Yeah, I hadn't been in the cage before, and, of course, Capital's not going to send somebody, like I said earlier. But Mosby really right now in control of this fight. And until, until Justin figures out how to get off of his back, and understand, look at these overhand rights, just smart and understanding his openings. Justin's in trouble. But Kevin, we talk about this being his debut fight like we're surprised. This is what Cagezilla does. Justin has spun it. Mosby way, slipped out. Way to pop out, but now Mosby is in a dominant Red. position. Oh, and then he gets tied up by the say. legs. 
That's that's not a good spot Mosby wants to be in. He should be able to slip out of that. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. So now we need to see some elbows to the side of the head right there. And it there was wide. Go. It was wide open. If you're Mosby, do you let him up? No, I switch. I switch to the side and start landing some knees to those ribs right there, Kevin. Here he goes. I think that's what the corner. The corner. Oh! <laughs> it's like we're playing that's Xbox right now. <laughs> Overhand rights from Mosby. Huge shots from the top. The Andrea is just exhausted. Hammer fist coming. Exhausted. Two of them land right to the temple. Yeah, I thought he was going to keep him on his side and just land hammer fist to the side of his head, but he goes for a straight strike. So Justin unable to tie that leg up. And so Mosby is just doing whatever he wants from the top right now. Got to be careful. That one almost landed low. Michael Doman right in there making sure everything is kosher. So short time here in the second round of this scheduled for three round fight. 15 seconds left on the clock. 10 second countdown coming up. Mosby still on top. Raining down punches now. Mosby hears the click and just goes to work. Justin is. So Kevin, I'll, I'll wait till they stop screaming. <laughs> wow. It is loud in here. But so I'll tell you. If you are Justin Day Andrea, you have got to be looking for a knockout or a stoppage because yeah. I'm no judge, but I've got Connor Mosby up two rounds yeah, to none. Yeah, me too. And De Andrea is exhausted again. And I mean, he had no idea that the buzzsaw was coming. It's pretty loud. It's in here awesome. Tonight. It is awesome. What a debut for this new Silver Eagle Group facility. And I turned around and looked during the fight. The place is packed. You can't find anywhere to sit. Everybody's standing. I mean. So I had a couple of my buddies that wanted to come to the fight. And I get said, in. sorry, we're can't, sold out. Can't get in. Like you mentioned earlier, not only are we sold out of seats, we're sold out of standing room now. All right, here we go. Referee Michael Dolman getting ready to get this third round of action started, Kevin. All right. Both fighters coming out toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Now, D'Andrea needs to do something in this round, and he has to knock out Mosby. Maybe catch, maybe catch Mosby in some sort of submission because he's not really experienced like that, but I just don't think that's going to happen. Oh, right and left for Mosby. He caught him with a combination. Justin in a little bit of desperation mode right now, trying to find something. Well, Mosby dove in there, caught him with rights and lefts. Justin went right down to his knees. Not, a, not the way he wanted to start round three. And Mosby is just too strong right here. Too strong. Guys, just a rem reminder to all of you watching at home on GoSports.com, log on right now to MyFanWagon.com. Get your picks in for Cagezilla 54. It's still going on. You guys still have time to get your fight, your fight picks in for the rest of the fights tonight. Mosby putting pressure on Justin. He's on his back. D'Andrea just has no answer for anything that Mosby does. He's working a little choke there, Kevin. And I'm telling you, Catching him early with those rights and lefts. He puts pressure on that. All right, pops out. He's got to kick that knee over and go full mount right now, Kevin. It's open. It's open. Oh. Yeah, he let Andrea get out of it. I just don't think he has enough to get under the chin, but if he holds him there for a minute, the fight's over. Big knee's coming, Kevin. Oh, way to roll out of it. So good job. Oh. Good job by De Andrea there, noticing that the uh, pain was about to come, and he rolled out of it. Good job. But now he's got to do something crazy. And he needs to do it in the next minute. Mosby with another left to the rib cage of De Andrea.
Trying to move around for those knees. Another knee. Oh. Just right to the ribs. Brutal. He does not want to have any. Oh, he stops the roll this time. Not two times on Mosby. Just over 30 seconds left in this, the third and final round. If you are Connor Mosby, you just stay right there and Ooh. keep raining down punches. Oh, two right shots. Yeah, to the face. Here's the 10 seconds. Oh, another right, another oh. left. Right and left to the rib cage. Oh! Wow. So, Kevin, you know, Connor Mosby had to know that he had had that fight won, but that wasn't good enough. He uh, didn't want to send it to the cards. Uh, he wanted to get that stoppage. Uh, he wanted to let him have it. And, and I can tell you, at the beginning of this fight, and we see this a lot, where guys come in and they look like they want to fight. I mean, Justin DeAndrea never took his eyes off Connor Mosby the whole time. Absolutely. Stared at him, talking a little trash, just underestimated him. Well, I'm going to go up and read the judges' your, scorecard yeah. anyway. But. <laughs> Make your way up. That was impressive. Just an exciting night here at Cage Zilla in the Silver Eagle Group. And like Chris said, just standing room only in here. So loud. I don't think I've heard it this loud in a fight in a long time. Chris makes his way in. He'll get the cards from the judges. And Michael Dolman has already scooped it up. Both fighters making their way over to, to see Michael Dome. Let's throw it up to Chris. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judge's scorecard for a decision. All three judges scored about 30 to 27, all in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. Out of the blue corner, it's Mosby! All right, ladies and gentlemen, here I am with your winner, Connor Mosby. Hell of a fight, Connor. We're down there on GoSports.com right now talking to people worldwide, telling them we cannot believe that that was a debut fight for you. What were you guys thinking coming into this one? Nope. Uh, we work hard every single day. I work for Chick-fil-A. I just want a large sweet tea and a number one right now, so that's all I'm working for. Hey, and if anybody bought Hennessy, let me know. All right, so Connor, hold on, one more question for you. <laughs> so when I was doing the introductions, when you guys first walked in the ring, I saw a little bit of chirping back and forth. Was, what was that all about? Oh, we come for business. This is business. We, we come to handle business if we go home. And that's exactly what he did. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time. That's your winner, Connor Mosby. All right, Connor Mosby comes away with a huge win in his debut fight here at Cagezilla 54. When we come back, ladies and gentlemen,